In this video, I'll demonstrate the various features of the Outline Pen tool. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. The Outline Pen tool is not displayed by default in the toolbox that runs along the left side, but I can add it by clicking the plus icon at the bottom of the toolbox, scrolling down to the end of the list, and adding Outline Tools. With nothing selected in the drawing, if I click the tool group and choose Outline Pen, the properties I set here will become the default for graphic objects I create later. I don't want to set defaults, so I'll create a rectangle with the Rectangle tool, leave it selected, and use the Outline Pen tool to change its properties. First, I'll set the outline color, width, and line style. There are many other places in the UI where I can also change outline properties. Right-clicking a color swatch changes the outline color, and I'll left-click to add a fill as well. I can change line width and style in the property bar, as well as in the properties docker on the outline tab. The options here are the same ones that are available in the outline pen tool. There are also several preset line widths in the outline pen tool flyout, and I could use the outline pen tool or the properties docker to specify different units and a custom width. Double-clicking the outline swatch on the status bar is another way to open the outline pen settings. With the dotted or dashed line style, I can use the style settings to create a custom style. The slider sets the repeat distance, and filling in squares to the left of the slider establishes the repeating pattern. Clicking Add creates a new pattern, which is then available in the Styles dropdown, or I can click Replace to replace the style I originally selected with this new version. When an outline is comprised of dashes and dots, it will probably not be symmetric in either direction. Choosing Align Dashes aligns the style at corners, and Fixed Dashes makes dashes identical at corners while adjusting pattern scale along edges. Default line caps have squared edges, and I can switch to round caps or extended square caps that extend line length. By default, the outline is centered with respect to the fill, but I can set it to be inside or outside the object. An outline can also be placed behind fill. Also by default, corners are mitered or sharp, but they can be round or beveled instead. For mitered corners, Angles less than the miter limit are considered sharp. For a rectangle, if this angle is greater than 90, the corners will be beveled instead. For finer control over outline color, I'll open the Outline Color tool. Here I can choose from color palettes or a variety of color viewers in which I can fine tune color values. Outline settings apply to open curves as well, such as this curve drawn with the pen tool to which I can add arrowheads or other shapes at each end. Each arrowhead has a three-dot icon with an option to swap start and end points and an edit option, which I can use to adjust properties. For this arrowhead, I'm mirroring it horizontally, then rotating it slightly to fit the curve. Calligraphy settings are best demonstrated with a wide solid curve. Reducing the stretch value produces a hand-drawn pen nib look, and adjusting the angle is equivalent to turning the nib. Changing calligraphy values can also produce interesting angles and varying thicknesses in non-solid line types. And finally, when scale with object is checked, line widths increase as an object is enlarged. Without this option checked, the line widths remain the same. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on the Outline Pen Tool in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.